Hi, I'm Ray Mars, Portfolio Leader in Textiles, Fashion and Fine Art at Buckinghamshire New University. The following series of lectures are designed to give you an overview of print processes, particularly in the area of textiles. This is very important as at some point in your career you will need to talk directly to manufacturers, designers, converters, etc. And a thorough understanding of these processes will number one help you gain their confidence and number two help you actually sell some of your design concepts. So let's begin at looking at a brief history of the print process. The desire to add colour and design to textiles is almost as old as mankind itself. Early civilizations used design and colour to identify themselves and distinguish themselves from each other. In Egypt, records from 23 to 75 AD describe a hot wax process similar to the modern batik techniques. Unique patterns and colour combinations, as well as the appearance of fracture lines, due to the cracking of the wax, characterizes batik. The Egyptians also used carved designs on wooden blocks to print on textiles as early as 400 AD. In Europe, the earliest evidence of textile printing, provided by a wooden block discovered in France, dated to the end of the 14th century. The family named Toothdruckers, or textile printers, was well known in Germany by 1440. In the United States, woodblock printing was practiced in Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania by the 1770s. A tremendous breakthrough occurred in 1783 when James Bell, a Scotsman, invented engraved roller printing. The development of screen printing began in Japan in the middle of the 17th century. Early developments involved the use of design stencils held together by fine silk threads or human hair. This Japanese silk screen technique was taken to France where a flat screen process was developed, using silk fabric stretched over a wooden frame. During the Industrial Revolution, sophisticated printing technique and colorant technology enabled manufacturers to produce highly colored textile designs with excellent color fastness. Today, printing can be carried out on a wide variety of fabric and fibre constructions, employing cost-effective processes. New technologies and advances in existing print processes continue the expansion of the capabilities of textile printing. Recent developments in rapid prototyping, sometimes referred to as 3D printing, enables bespoke applications for many, many product areas. Think photo printing, but instead of inks, think of chocolate gold powder, silver powder, titanium powder, plastic, any substrate, and that's the future. The prediction is that in 20 to 30 years time, sitting alongside the microwave in the kitchen, there will be the replicator, the Star Trek replicator. This will replicate any part that anybody needs within their household. And guess what? It will replicate itself. This is not science fiction, this is science fiction.